Cooper made me a shop on YouTube. What's up, Super Misfit checking in. Uh, my bad about the delays, you guys, with the videos on YouTube. I've been caught up uh, working on a customer's car, a uh, 69 Camaro that I LS swapped. I've been wrestling with that. I've been getting some funky codes dealing with the uh, transmission. So I'm trying to iron that out and in the process, keep some videos coming for you guys. But my mini tug kit came in last night. Today is the day. You see the peep the pinky. I'm so excited. Dun, 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 dun. Put this dun, 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 dun. Oh, proper etiquette. Peep the pinky. Holy moly. Holy guacamole! <laughs> mini thugs! The minis! The thugs! Yes, indeed, I am happy about that. As usual, I get the port shipped to my mother's house because my wife would act an ass if she seen ports coming into the house on the regular gonna kick off the detroit speed mini tub kit so this list right here is pretty much all the tools that i think i'm gonna need to pull it off uh this is my first time doing a uh mini tub install so i've been reading a bunch of uh, articles checking the forms been watching a bunch of videos uh the reading wasn't too good on it. The videos, the best video I've seen, in all honesty, uh, was the actual video that they have on the Detroit Speed website. That was the best video that I saw, just being completely honest. I watched a few of the videos and they were kind of sketchy. I wasn't, how can I put it up? I didn't really grasp the whole concept of watching those videos. And even with the Detroit Speed video at the end, it got kind of flimsy. He didn't show the part where you have the brackets back on for us, the seat, from the seat to the uh, actual tub itself and a few other brackets. It was a few parts where I feel like they kind of jumped around too. So I'm gonna try and be as detailed as possible with my video. And another thing, um, they never really talked about all the tools and stuff that you need, so I figured that would be cool if I went over the uh, tools and stuff that I feel like I'm gonna need and use, so I put this together. Um, and as I say, this is my first time doing it, so some of this stuff could be overkill. I might need a little bit more than what I actually have on this list, but um, just from watching the videos and reading and stuff like that, I kind of put together mainly uh most of the stuff that i'm gonna need to uh pull it off so we're gonna start off with the detroit speed mini tub kit so i got that gonna have to make a run to the store in a second so we can get started with the uh, install but i'm gonna put a check by that due to the fact that i got that <clears throat> where the machine i got that uh, a heavy hammer because it's a panel that comes in the kit and you have to uh, shape it to the contour of the frame rail where you uh, have to cut it. I have that, so I'm going to check that off. And I'm just going to use a hand torch to uh, heat that sheet metal up, make it a little easier to bend it. I got that already. Uh, you're going to need some clamps to hold the uh, tubs in place while you're doing all your welding and stuff like that. I got that. Uh, masking tape, I'm gonna use that 
because I'm gonna see if I can actually install my tubs without removing my rear um, door panel. So I'm gonna mask all of that off real good so don't no sparks or nothing get on that. I'm gonna mask all that off and I'm also gonna need the masking tape when it comes time to uh, paint um, my inner fender wheels and all the paint the tubs and all of this stuff. So I got masking tape here already. I'm also going to need some uh, self etching primer. Etching primer, I always use that when I'm welding. I have some of that as well. Um, a hand seamer, I got one, but it's kind of uh, wide. And from what I've been seeing in the video, is you in some tight spaces. So I'm going to see if I can find one just a tad bit smaller when I go to the store. So I'm just going to put that by that. So I know I need to get that. Up. I'm also going to need a divider. I don't have one of those. Right. Uh, tape measure, I got plenty of those. A drill, got one of those. 516 drill bit, got plenty of those. Uh, All right, my camera just failed, so the angle might be a little different. Picking up from what we left off it, though. Uh, a straight edge, that's basically just a ruler. I got one of those, just gonna check that off. Uh, a seam splitter, so basically a seam splitter is um, a piece of metal, you slide it in place, you just hammer it up, and it breaks the uh, <clears throat> seam. I'm actually gonna just use this piece of metal that I have here. I'm gonna fab it up a bit in a minute, let you guys see that. Uh, just gonna shave it down some, put kind of a edge at it so it can get under things real good. It's kind of heavy so I can use my same hammer and hammer up if I have any resistance when it comes time for that. Now it's time to make the seam splitter. There was one other thing that I did forget to put on the uh, list over there and that's gloves. When you're dealing with metal, you do wanna wear yourself some gloves cause it don't take much to get cut up. Make this little seam splitter real quick. Safety first. Me ain't gonna harm looking. Yeah, I'll do. Kind of like bringing it to somewhat of a point so I can slip it under seams and poop, 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 bust it straight on it. That's that. Boop, boop, boop. We're gonna check off the uh, seam splitter. Also gonna have a, a, a impact on hand. You never know. I might need that because I don't like using the drill. I like. I prefer the impact. So just gonna have that on hand just in case I need that. You also gonna need a pin punch. I'm gonna get one of those as well from the store. Uh, cut out tool. Uh, I'm gonna get one of those from the store as well. Uh, grinder. I have one of those. The blades for the regular cutout blades for the grinder. I have those, but I'm gonna need some cutout blades. Or do I have some? I think I might already have cutout blades for a small cutout tool as well. So we're just gonna uh, check that out. I'm pretty sure I got some of those. Um, some grinding wheels. Cause you got a, uh, it's a few pieces from what the instruction saying and from what I've seen online, it's a few pieces you're gonna have to grind down. So I got grinding wheels already. Check that off. Uh, gonna need a flap disc. That's basically just to uh, smooth out all the metal and stuff after we done welding and stuff like that. Get it nice and smooth. I'm gonna need to pick up another one of those. Um, pair of scissors, of course I got some of those. Safety glasses. Yes, I have a few sets of those. I had an incident a week or two ago where some metal got in my eye. 
had to go to the hospital. It was tricky business, but uh, wrap the liner so I could paint the uh, tubs after I'm done. Doing that, I got wrapped the liner here already. And spot wheel drill bits. Now, they say you only need one, but those things do break a lot. So I actually have three of those here already. I try to keep those on hand, so check that off. Now that we got all the stuff that we need to pick up, I'm finna get out of here and uh, go to the store, man. Pick up the little stuff I need from the store. And I'll catch up with you guys when I get back. Pick up where we left off at. Out, finna get the parts for the Detroit Speed mini tub set up. I had to make one quick stop. Called the fright, maybe like about five minutes away, but I'm at one of my go-to spots. I got a few things I need to get for the shop and a few things that I need to get for the uh, mini tub install. I'm in my spot, uh, King Dollar. You know, we on the budget around here. Got my list of stuff that I need. Finna get in here and get busy. Straight edge. I'm gonna need me some of this. Clean up my little oil spills and stuff around the shop. That don't have nothing to do with the mini tub install, but I'm gonna need some of these because I make a few messes. So, get a four of those. Transmission install. I'm gonna need this pin punch right here. Some markup, everything. So, what's up? Super Misfit checking in. We at location number two. Gotta get a few more parts. Well, tools. Gotta get a few more tools. We at uh, location number two, and that is part of the fright. Few more things I need to do this tub kit that I didn't have in the shop. I'm finna pick the last of that up now. Saved a few bucks at the uh, dollar store, getting the little stuff that they had that'll work with what I'm doing. But the bulk of it's gonna come from right here, Harbor Freight. Back three inch blades. Perfect. Ten pack. Hopefully, that'd be enough. Mm -hmm. now some of you guys might need some of these. I already have a few at the storage now they say you only need one of these to do it but i'm willing to bet you that you're gonna need at least two or three of these because these do break sometimes so get you a couple of those a hand seam Well, 
got bigger ones, but we're gonna be working in a tight space, so I'm pretty sure this small one will get the job done. back from the store we're just gonna go over everything we got our uh detroit speed mini tub kit for the tubs right here both sets all the sheet metal that comes with it stuff like that we got our hammer got our torch i got every clamp that i own right now on the table we got the self etching primer Got the uh, Raptor liner. Got masking tape. Even got my little knife out to cut it up. Just for the dry erase board. It's my little corner right here. Okay. We got the hand seamer. Got two of those. This is the one that I already had. It's a little smaller. This one here is a tad bit bigger, but whichever one works and get the job done. We got the flap disc. We got our large, our four and a half inch cut off blades. We got us some grinding disc. We got the small disc. We got the drill. We got the impact. We got the gloves. We got the pin punch. We got our straight edge. We got our seam splitter. Got our drill bits. These are uh, what size? Five sixteenth drill bits. We got those. We have our uh, spot wheel drill bits. Got the tape measure. We got our small little cutoff wheel right here. Brand new. Just picked it up. We got our big grinding disc. The big grinder. The key to swap those out. So now on part two, I gotta remove my uh, suspension and start marking everything up. So uh you want to catch part two, make sure you subscribe. I have part two up exactly seven days from now. That's how these videos gonna go. We're gonna break everything up, and uh the reason why I'm breaking everything up and taking my time with recording is because I want to get uh, as many details as I possibly can on it so I can give you guys some good information, some high-quality video.